Well, did you at least finish reading Walden so we can go over it together when you're done? I meant to. I'm a little behind because I've been slammed. But I need to write 500 words on why Thoreau decided to live alone at Walden Pond, and I don't understand transcendentalism at all. All right, well, maybe someone here read it and they can help you out. Harris, Becky? Uh, I started to read the cliff notes, but they just go on and on and on. It's a classic. Of course I read it. That's the one about a guy who wants to live alone, so he decides to live on a pond called Walden Pond. Well, actually, next to it, you can only live on a pond in the winter. You didn't read it. None of you read it. If it was the real housewives of Walden Pond, you'd be all over it. Hey. 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 Hi. Have you read Walden by Thoreau? Who by what? Grandpa, have you read Walden by Thoreau? Thoreau? Sure, I know Thoreau. Hey, Jackie, throw me a beer. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting everyone in this family a library card. This ends now. Damn it, yes. Yes. Check it out. Ah, Swillsman from the cool, not so clear waters of Gary, Indiana. <laughs> they even make that anymore? No, it's a cool decoration piece for that vintage trailer I'm fixing up. Where did you get a vintage trailer? I got really lucky. A good friend of mine died. <laughs> Movies and I got big plans to hit the road as soon as we get the vaccine. Oh, God, I wish Darlene and I could get away, but we're both so slammed. Oh. Babe, do you have time to help me write that ad for the hardware store? The penny saver needs it by tomorrow. Maybe later. I still need to finish these reviews, go grocery shopping, and read Walden Pond. Let me clear my plate so I can really concentrate on crafting something sophisticated enough for the penny saver crowd. <laughs> what about me? Are you not going to help me with my thing? What's your thing? I don't have one yet. You're just so busy, I want to get a place in line. <laughs> That's it. I'm not getting any work done here. I'm going to head into the office. Well, somebody liked the lasagna. I'm surprised you left the fork. Yeah, it was great. You should really do something about that review on Yelp. What review? Somebody said the lasagna here wasn't fit to feed a dog. I think my dog would love this. It says our lasagna tastes like two car mats in a puddle of watered-down ketchup. And you still ordered it? I'm from Missouri. I'm a show-me guy. <laughs> Louise, she wants to make a video call. Weird. Probably because she wants a little show. You're my daughter. Stay in your lane. <laughs> hey, honey, just a heads up. I'm at the lunchbox, so keep it down if you're going to get freaky. Uh, that's not why I'm calling. But well, you're still coming over tonight, right? I mean, I haven't seen you in, like, forever. No, I can't come over, babe. I just tested positive for COVID. Oh, my God. Are you okay? I can't smell anything, and I'm super tired. I'm gonna go lay down. I'll call you later, I promise. Louise coming by for lunch? Maybe if she orders some lasagna, I can open a second location. <laughs> yeah, you know her. She's busy. She's working on a couple projects. Wants me to come over and lend her a hand. Yeah, all right. She's just trying to get you over there so she can break her off a piece of that Dan man. <laughs> oh, damn. Louise just texted me. She's got COVID. Wow, that stuff comes on fast. I just talked to her 10 seconds ago, and she was fine. No, she wasn't. She called to tell you she was sick, didn't she? Yeah, but now Neville spoiled the surprise. Oh, sorry, Dan. I didn't mean to bust you. Yeah, what the hell, Neville? As a former new guy, welcome to the family. <laughs> you were ready to lie to us and then go over and see Louise? Are you insane? You cannot go over there. You are the poster child for underlying conditions. <laughs> I don't want to come downstairs one morning and find you all dead on the couch. I've been traumatized enough by you people with your poverty and your backward ways. Well, that's enough. There's a lot of people taking care of sick family members. You wear a mask, 
and you keep your distance. I'm not going to do anything stupid. And you don't have to worry about getting it. Louise hasn't been in the house in a week. Yeah, but you're going to be with her all day and then come home and be with us? No, I'm going to stay at her place. If I was sick, she'd do it for me. Oh, that's so moving. Would you be there for me? We've been dating a couple of months. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> we really have to get tested. Yes. Even though we haven't seen Louise in a while, it's not worth taking a chance. Any luck? No. All the places that offer rapid response COVID tests are super expensive. There is one drive up spot that's only $139. Is that per car? Because if we really press together, we can get eight or nine people in there. It's per person. Damn. Well, only a few of us can afford to get tested. Who's willing to die? Not it. <laughs> hey, isn't there a testing place out by the swap meet that's free? Oh, yeah. We should go there. I've been looking for a magic mop and a pair of fake Ugg boots. <laughs> hey, picked up dinner. No idea what's in the bag, but I know it's all from the 99 cent menu. Didn't you get my text about Louise? No. What's up? She has COVID. What? Are you sure? Yeah. She tested positive. And I couldn't talk dad out of going over there to take care of her. Oh my God, this is terrible. I think I may have given it to Louise. <laughs> what? You're being paranoid. You're super careful and no one wants to be around you. You're a naturally repellent person. <laughs> no, I, I did something stupid. I, I went to a hotel a few times. Oh my God. Are you cheating on Ben again? How do you find all these people who want to have sex with you? <laughs> no, I'm not cheating on Ben. They have an indoor pool. I just hang out for an hour or two to de-stress. My psychiatrist said it would help with the anxiety attacks. Of all the times to hang out at a crowded pool. No, it's not crowded. Then this last time I fell asleep in a chair and I woke up to a full on birthday party with a bunch of idiot 25 year olds and none of them was wearing a mask. But I left as soon as I saw him, so I figured I'd be fine. How would you give it to Louise? Because I saw her a couple days later to see if she had any pot. That helps my anxiety, too. Your shrink prescribed an indoor pool in pot? Do you know if he's taking new patients? <laughs> I'd just feel horrible if anybody else got sick. I gotta go get tested. And please don't say anything, okay? I'll stay away from everybody until I get my results. I'd like to tell them myself. Oh, God, how am I gonna tell them? You're just gonna sit them down and tell them. You're a stupid, selfish, narcissistic troll who only thinks about herself. But you know, put it in your own words. <laughs>